Okay, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, we're going to go into part two. For some reason, my phone stopped recording. Um, I think it's due to my storage space going on right now. So, um, where was I at? Mm, let's see. So, again, don't rush into anything. Don't rush into anything, you know, with your partner and, and you know, there's a lot of healing that has to take place. And you guys also too, for those of you that your self-esteem has been low, your confidence has been running low, your energies are running low, you guys got to get that. Take the time out for yourself to get your, get your mojo back, get your groove back. Okay. Because I feel like this return is, I think it's going to take some of you guys by surprise. What is this energy, Archangel Michael, from the Page of Swords, from Scorpio unto their person, or Scorpio's person unto them? What is this all about? The Six of Coins. A lot of Earth energy again, you guys. I take that back to my air signs. I forgot. Page of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So it's my water signs that haven't kicked in. Um, somebody does want to, somebody is going to reach out unexpectedly, I say. Because either somebody got kicked out of a situation, either got cut out of a family inheritance, or there's been a lot of family arguments, or it's the karmic girlfriends, karmic boyfriends, somebody here is getting ready to return. Because there's a major judgment call. So whether this judgment call is coming in from you, Scorpio, unto your person, or your person unto you, or the universe is making a judgment call on either one of you to make a major change, to make a major shift. And whoever's going to get called out on the BS or somebody here, whether it's you, Scorpio, or your person, somebody is making a judgment call on themselves to get the hell out of this environment, wherever somebody's at, that there is a troublemaker. There's meddling energy. There's, inc I'm picking up like inconsistencies, but see, somebody may also too be afraid Maybe afraid of leaving, but I, I think somebody here is going to get this major determination. And I say somebody, when they reach out that first time around, for those of you who will experience this, when, when they reach out, I'm seeing either you, Scorpio, or it's your person unto you. Somebody here is going to be very humble, very, very, very humble when they try to start communicating. So if it seems like your person is coming in very timid, very shy, or what appears to be weak or whatever, somebody is getting humbled because the judgment card is defining this imagery of the page of coins. And again, for those of you who are familiar with the character of Tyrion, Tyrion is getting a hand-me-out. When Tyrion, somewhere in the Game of Thrones energy, okay, was at his weakest time where he had to be humble. So, uh, there's, huh, there's going to be a humbling experience here for somebody, maybe to make somebody swallow their pride, swallow their ego. Because this ace is the central focus, the change card is the central focus, and the six of wands for somebody to return is the central focus. But what dominates right now, what is the crowning dominating energy so far before a clarified judgment is the judgment card. So Archangel Michael, what is this energy of judgment from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? What is this about? Holy freaking cow, the emperor. Oh my God. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Somebody's making a judgment call on an Aries. If some of your partners, Scorpio, are dealing with an Aries or you're dealing with an Aries, maybe, possibly. Not all surprised because if there's a troublemaker here, you know, Scorpio and Aries used to be ruled by the planet Mars together until Scorpio got, you know, sent out, sent out to the ethers, basically, to planet Pluto. You know, for us to become the directors of the underworld, basically. Um, 
somebody here is going to level up here to emperor. They're going from king to emperor or queen to empress. We'll put it in that direction. Somebody's taking charge. But see, I feel like there's this energy going on between judgment and the emperor energy because Jon Snow is getting ready. Somebody here is getting ready to go to battle or fight for what it is that they want. But at the same time, it's like they're, they're, I feel like your person Scorpio, or if this is you, somebody here is coming in like this timid little, little mouse, we'll say. Okay. So we got a little bit more clarification to do. What is this energy from the queen of wands, Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, <clears throat> the high priestess, there were secrets. This meddling energy kept secrets. Some of you are dealing with the Pisces. But I say also too, high priestess energy is also bringing in spiritual awakening for somebody here to do the freaking right thing. It's the Lord of Light. <laughs> the Lord of Light when we talk about Game of Thrones. There was a meddling energy, could have been a fire sign, doesn't have to be, can be any sign across the board. I'm not digging, I'm, I'm digging the energy that somebody is going to take affirmative action. But if this meddling energy keeps creeping up, it's because when we talk about something, all your words are spelling out intentions and energizing the universe to pick up on the signals okay it's like when you go to say positive affirmations the universe is going to pick up on it so this meddling energy there's going to be a judgment call you guys there's going to be a judgment call on the meddling energy but there were secrets and this person's energy, in a sense, needs to be banished. It needs to be destroyed. It needs to stop meddling in in a relationship dynamic. It has to come to a stop. Message from judgment. Uh, no, wait. Um, message from the emperor, please. One, two, three, and four. The emperor is bringing in freaking temperance, you guys. This is the spiritual warfare. And I've said this before, because temperance, traditionally speaking, is represented by an angel. Defying gravity. Not allowing the water to fall to the ground. So there's angelic guidance, help, ancestral help on the other side that is leading and guiding your person, Scorpio, or vice versa, to do the right thing here. Still, okay, it's, it, it, this stuff is going on behind the scenes, you guys. Okay, to have somebody here level up and on the bottom of the deck, I just looked at it, sign of Scorpio, death card, major change, major transformation. What is this energy between judgment and the emperor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. What is this? The page of wands. There's some form of energetic communication going to be kicking in here. More fire energy, you guys. A lot of fire. All my fire signs are just, where are my water signs today? Guys, come on now. Scorpio, wake up, Scorpio. Cancerians and Pisces. Message from the high priestess. One, two. The king of coins. See, the king of coins is one level down from the emperor. Somebody was holding back secrets or information about money. Could have been. A lot of this is money. It's so interesting. I have a king a queen, and there's like, quote unquote, mistress type of energy or meddling energy because meddling energy is the backup support of the high priestess. And then the king of coins. So this is, somebody did not want somebody's person in the past to level up. 
or to be married because the king of coins and the queen of coins commands and demands full blown out commitment. Marriage status. Somebody here, when I look at this six of coins, it's like somebody wants to give a token or a gift or a gesture for all of the trouble that was caused. But it's going to have to be more than that. I mean, it, you know, it'll be a good start. Take your time. That's all I got to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Message from the King of Coins, Archangel Michael, the Seven of Swords. I say yes. In the past, this is twofold. Your partners were cheating on you. Your partners were lying to you, Scorpio, or vice versa. There was a third party situation. Somebody wanted to side with the family but and, and boot somebody out. For poor choices, poor reasons, a lot of it had to do, like I said, some of your partners are dealing with family inheritance situations, okay? Um, somebody wanted to be controlling and manipulating. But see, somebody, I think somebody's secret desire is this Ace of Coins and the Six of Spears because this Six of Spears is the Six of Wands in this deck and somebody's getting ready to change. And somebody is getting ready to take a physical move here. But see, with the Seven of Swords, Samuel Tarly, he stole the family sword or the Valerian sword. If I'm not mistaken, because he felt like it was rightfully his. So in some regard, this is strategizing. This is strategizing in order to make a clean sweep, a clean break of a getaway from family dynamics. Because in the Game of Thrones, character of Samuel Tarly, his father was basically a rat, B-A-S-T-A-R-D to him. And never thought that he would amount up to anything. So there were controlling situations for some of your partners. Some of your partner's family members would downplay your partner. Didn't think that they would mount up to anything or didn't have any real goals or ambitions or a true career or whatever the case may be. Who knows? Not for all of you, but that's what I'm seeing in the cards and, and because I know the Game of Thrones series very well. Um, it, there, there, there was like a belittlement, you know? And somebody wanted to play also, too, on somebody's weaknesses in order for somebody not to make a major change, not to give a major offer. I'm helpless. Some of these mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers, whatever, especially the mothers, I'm so helpless. No, you're not. Some of these mother figures are lying lying. They're liars. A lot of them are. Not all of them. I shouldn't say that. I'll correct myself. No. There's a good portion of these mothers that are controlling either their sons or their daughters, either by money or playing in on their son or their daughter's weaknesses, blindsiding them too, creating discord and obstacles in order for not to somebody, for somebody to return Because they want all the attention for some of them. This energy has come up before. It's nothing new to me, but it has to come up again today because obviously somebody needs to hear it. <laughs> all right, let's see where else we can go here. We got temperance. We got the page of spears. Let's see what the page of spears, energetic, happy communication. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, 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 there's gonna be exciting news that somebody's gonna reveal that there was indeed Ten of Swords traitor activity. Mm-hmm. I say somebody's getting ready to take the bull by the freaking horns. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Taurus. I'm picking that energy up. Some of you guys are dealing with Tauruses. Somebody's gonna start, somebody's gonna be bold here. Oh boy. 
Message from temperance. Some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, well, guardian angel activity is about ready to expose, about ready to expose the meddling energy because we got the moon card and we're going to be going into the full moon in the sign of Capricorn in the month of July. Tomorrow will be the new moon in the sign of Cancer. The moon, some of you guys are dealing with Cancerian energy or Pisces energy with the moon. There's going to be some energetic communication that there is a traitor. Message from the moon, please. Archangel Michael from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ah, beautiful. The Ace of Cups. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Somebody has been holding back this Ace of Cups or somebody could be revealing by the time we get to the next full moon. Who knows? It could happen in the new moon. That's a new moon to full moon. It, we go into the waxing phase, you guys, where things start to grow and expand. So that's why I said take this time, take this energy today with it being Saturn's energy and wash away. Go take a spiritual cleansing bath. Go take a, a spiritual shower. Go ground your energy. Take your shoes off. Go put your feet on the grass. Work with the hematite stone. Clear and cleanse out your energy. Use Palo Santo. You know, get your mind's balance. Get it, get it right because a lot of you guys are not manifesting the way that you want to but this ace of cups has been hiding behind the moon and i say it's going to get ready to be revealed true love true love you guys true love message from the ace of cups one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ah well the, ma <clears throat> the magician, I was calling out the magician energy. Somebody here is manifesting. Sign Scorpio again on the bottom of the deck. With the death card, change and transformation. There's going to be a major wake-up call, major change. Message from the magician. And one. What is this? The nine of swords. Somebody's trying to manifest to get out of the nine of swords mentality. Like I said, you guys have been thinking and rehashing. You guys have been upset. You're, you're, you've been angry. You're feeling all of this heaviness. Why don't you cut yourselves a break and recognize how great you really are? You don't need your person to tell you how great you are. You do it first from within, right? Scorpios, if you're a true Scorpio, you don't need validation from other people to know that you're amazing, that you're smart, that you're talented, that you're beautiful, that you're handsome, you're charming, you're intelligent, you can, you know, absorb information like a sponge. I mean, Scorpios are, can do almost anything because we're the transformers. We're the masters, we're the teachers. So a lot of you have got to make the conscious choice or decision not to be ever again in the nine of swords mode. And somebody here is also manifesting in a sense to, to stop feeling trapped in their environment. They're manifesting for this Scorpio or you are. Message from this 10 of swords is traitor activity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. What is this? The Knight of wands. Could be an Aries, uh, Aries Leo Sag again. I say that there's going to be an apology here. I don't need to see the Prince of Cups because the Page of Coins can come in. Like I said, somebody could be coming in very humbly um, to apologize for the backstabbing and deceit and the betrayal. See, with the Knight of Spears, and this could also be talking, too, about relocation because the Knight of Wands can also represent some form of advancement or relocation with a job or just moving into a new environment. So I feel like somebody's here is gearing up to move back in 
A message from the Knight of Wands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Yeah, now I just called it out, you guys. Page of Cups, it's here. It's freaking here. Power of the numbers, you guys. Power of your intuition. Guys, I always got to listen to your intuition. They're going to apologize for this meddling energy. That's fine and dandy. But I'm telling you, some of you, you partners out there, whether it's you, Scorpio, or your person, they don't want to have anything more to do with the meddling energy. Bottom line. Fool me once, shame on them. Fool me the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth time. Then there's something wrong with me or you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Bottom of the deck, four of wands again. So this is about soulmate twin flame energy, you guys. It always is. This is what my channel is all about, okay? But let's see what the page of cups wants to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What is this? They're, they've got guilt, remorse, regret. Five of Cups. Regret over the past. Regret over the meddling energy. Somebody, I say, has been besides themselves, especially when it comes to a parental figure for some of them. Some of your partners are embarrassed by their family members that they even got, that they, they, they were the meddling energy and created confusional energy for some of them. But they felt, some of them felt besides themselves, but see that the, it was because of that seven of cups energy, you know, it's just like masked over by confusion, delusional energy and, and guilt, guilt ridden feelings that were put upon by whatever the meddling energy is. So whether it's a karmic girlfriend, a karmic mother, the karmic uncle, the grandparents, the sister-in-law, the brother-in-law, whoever, I say put guilt as well on your person, Scorpio, or put guilt on you. But we've got somebody here that is gearing up to return. And thank you to my water signs that showed up, finally, Page of Cups, and a little bit through the High Priestess and uh, Ace of Cups. So let's see here. Six, uh, six of wands. One, two, three, four, five, and six. What is this? Oh, enter the freaking dragon. Chariot. Boom, baby. There's two energies of the car, the boat, the plane, the train, the automobile. I don't care if they're running like Forrest Gump. Somebody is returning, you guys. Your person. How is this chariot energy, Archangel Michael, from Scorpio unto their person or Scorpio's person unto them? Where is this momentum kicking in from? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Because their environment is so much of a freaking burden right now. Ten of wands. Ten of wands activity. Somebody can't take it anymore. And it's like I said, this energy has come up before. So... If the energy is coming up again, like it has over the last week or two, it's, I say for some of you guys, it's to, it's to reassure, it's the spirits coming in to reassure you that things are, things are working its way through and there is forward movement, you guys. I don't pull cards to pull cards. Spirit told me to say, Mel, do the cards this way. This is how the energy should be. It's non-slappy. You know what I'm saying? Just allowing cards just to kind of fall all over the place. No, it's one thing when you're shuffling and the cards want to fall. But Stra this, this is about strategizing. Strategizing through the power of the numbers. How is somebody feeling? It's the who, what, where, why, when, and how. Because it brings, when you do the who, what, where, why, when, and how, it brings in logic. It brings in the logical mindset when you're working with cards instead of saying, oh, well, I see this for you in your future. And I say, no, power of the numbers. So there, there's a major change, you guys. There's a major change coming up. 
And, you know, <clears throat> oh, wow, six of swords, bottom of the deck. That's good. Somebody's getting the hell out of Dodge. Perfect. Oh, just looked at the Kipper deck on the bottom of the deck. Mature woman. Hmm. Could be mother figure, father figure, aunt, brother, sister, cousin, whatever. Yeah. It's about time for somebody to leave the crib, we'll say. It's about time for somebody to, uh, yeah, leave the crib. Mm-hmm. And go into a new crib. A crib of true love. <laughs> um... You know, you can call spiritually call in the energy of planet Saturn. As long as you know you're taking full responsibility for your own actions to the best of your ability, to the best of your knowledge. Do you know the rings around planet Saturn? And I just researched this like, I don't know, it was sometime earlier last week and I'm going to research it again. But the rings... It's either in the rings or it's once you get to the physical mass body of the planet Saturn. They have the fastest, it's the planet with the fastest winds. Even stronger than here on Earth. Even stronger than a tsunami or an earthquake or a tornado, whatever. The winds, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the impact that's the reason why Saturn, when you're trying to banner something out, I personally, for me, I call on the energy of the winds of Saturn because I say, I whip this stuff out of my life. Whip out that negative energy out of my life. Whip out that debt. And as long as you're taking affirmative steps and actions to banish out the things that are no longer serving your higher purpose, it's best to do it on a Saturday, especially during a waning moon. It's all manifestation. It's all mental. It's all mental mind frame. But you can call in whatever you want, but that's just, I mean, that's thats what Saturn does. The fastest winds on any planet that we know of in our intermediate solar system. It's like a, I mean, we're, I don't even know what would be considered heavier than a tornado. Not even a mas monsoon. I mean, the winds, it's just, whoosh, I mean, I think if I'm not mistaken, over, it's probably calculated in different types of maybe like kilometers or something like that. But I think they said that in general, it's like over 1,700 mile winds or something like that. I'd have to look it back up again, but I was watching it while I was falling asleep. <laughs> on the couch but um somebody's returning scorpio or cross watcher into scorpio your scorpio is returning back to you i mean it's here so focus in on you focus in on yourself today scorpio and cross watchers under scorpio you're number one gotta get your confidence levels up don't feed into the negative energies. Don't feed into the meddling energy. Don't give them a reason for their energy to inflate. You want to mentally see that energy deflate. And focus in on the end game, which is, you know, again, being with your person. And the easiest manifestation I would say to visualize is just your person reaching out to you. And not so much thinking about um, the past. Talking to you comfortably like the page of coins. So anyway, again, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. Like I said, this was kind of nostalgic for me to do a blacked out screen again. And I figured, well, you know what? It's just a little bit more appropriate for Saturn's energy. And it's very Scorpio-like in so many ways. A lot of you do probably wear the color black. I mean, black is a very elegant, sophisticated color. That's really, it's not even a color, really. Black is not even a color, but we identify it as a color, you know. And not only that, the color black makes you look thin, slim, and trim, too. <laughs> you know, so, but anyway... Um, I will be back tomorrow for another bonus reading, uh, doing a love reading in the energy of the sun like I did last Sunday. 
okay? And then I'm going to be um, doing bonus readings using the major arcanas, going through all 21 cards of the major arcana of a tarot deck and what their message is. What is the energetic spiritual message from the magician, from the high priestess, from the empress, from the emperor, from the hierophant, etc. Okay. So always doing something different to, to bring something fun and new and creative to my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com. I do highly recommend uh, anytime after June 25th, after Venus goes direct. Okay. All right, Scorpio and cross watchers. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, awesome weekend and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.